Hey everyone, it's Selena here. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create something like this. So we all love monograms, but it gives it a special touch if you add something decorative around it. So in this example, it's going to be a Christmas tree with a bow at the top. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you can pretty much use any type of design that you want for a monogram. And I will have all the information on how to get the monogram in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just in Design Space, and I'm actually, in this example, just going to use Design Space images. So I'm going to go to Insert Image. And you can do the same thing with any type of file that you have purchased or any Google image. And I'm just going to look for a Christmas tree see what we have out there and search okay so we have a lot of different Christmas trees in here we can use something like this you want to look for something that's more solid um, so that's easy to slice and that it looks nice around a monogram um, let's see that's a good one too that actually has the base and the top so that would be a good one to use if you want to just do something that is already, if you have the subscription, you can just filter this and choose subscription. And it's going to pull up all the Christmas trees that are in the subscription, okay? So you don't have to pay for anything extra. Okay, so let's use this one as our example. Okay, so I have that one chosen, um, but now we need a bow. So I'm going to type up here, bow. And let's choose we can choose this one because we could take the bow from this wreath let's just choose that one all right so I'm going to be using slice and weld We may not use weld, but definitely slice. Okay, so for this one, let's go ahead and ungroup it because all I want is the bow. Now this layer has the dots included, so we don't need that. In order to get rid of those dots, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to use hide contour this way, or you can go up to the panel and choose contour over here. It's going to highlight everything. And I'm just going to select all the little circles because we don't need the circles. So I'm hiding all of the circles by selecting them. Okay, I'm just going to click right off of that and it got rid of those little circles. Okay, so we can use that as our topper. And then this one, I'm going to ungroup that. And we can use this one here because it has the base. Or you can use this one. Um, if you wanted to use this one, I would do the same thing because you don't want that smiley face in there. I would just do hide contour and hide the, um, the eyes and the mouth, and those are gone. What we could do here is we can slice this in order to have that base at the bottom. So let's go ahead and align those perfect so that we get a good slice. Oops, not center. We're going to align center horizontally and then center or align top. Okay, and they're both selected, so I'm going to slice that. Okay, so get rid of this, and now we have those two there. Okay, now let's bring in a basic shape. I'm going to use the insert shape in order to get our slice of the circle in the middle. Let's go back to insert shape, let's enter, insert a circle. And it's just depending on how you want it to look. Let's go ahead and get our monogram in here so that we can decide how we want to slice it. So I'm going to upload image, and I should have a monogram in here somewhere. 
If you don't know how to get a monogram, I'll have in the description box down below how I get mine. I use an app on my phone and I just create the monogram and I email it to myself and then I upload, I save it on my computer and then I upload it into Design Space. So let's choose this one. All right, so we just want to hollow out a little area in the middle in order to put that there. And you can do it just like that if you wanted to. But if you want to go ahead and slice that middle part out, let's go ahead and let's change the circle because it's easier to see it if it's white. Let's put that here. Okay, so let's say that this is how we want it to look, okay? So let's get all of this out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two here. If you want to make sure that it's centered correctly, you can use your align. And let's center it horizontally. Okay. And then we're going to slice. Just make sure that both images are selected when you're slicing. Okay, we're going to get rid of all of this. Okay, I don't really like how that slides because I have a little piece there sticking out off. Let's redo that. Let's center it like that. Okay, now select the two. Okay, now let's place these back how we want them. Move this to the front so we just get a better better visual of what we're going to do here. And then put your monogram right there in the middle and size it to your liking. Let's move this to the back so I can access my monogram. And just like that. Okay, so you can see how easy it is just to kind of create your own in Design Space by using Slice. I actually didn't use Weld in this case, but just by slicing, you can create your own. So I just wanted to show that to you guys so that, you know, when you see something on Facebook, um, for inspiration, which I had that picture as an example, just know that most likely you'll, you'll be able to create that yourself in Design Space by either the images already in Design Space or by uploaded images by, you know, searching for them on the internet. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the section, uh, comment section down below. And if you learned something, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see upcoming videos on Inkscape, Design Space, and fonts. If you don't know me already, know that I am such a font hoarder and I love sharing fonts with you guys and how to use them in Design Space. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks.